Hey everyone, welcome to Sauce and welcome back to CrossCode. I was a bit worried about starting recording this because I just got a new video card that I'm buying. Well, I'm buying a bunch of parts to make a computer, a new computer, and I got the new one, the video card just today, and I kind of want to check it out, but there's really no hurry because uh, I'm not, I don't have everything I need to put the computer together yet. I don't even. I still need uh, RAM, a uh, tower, and a power source, but that's enough of the, about that. Let's go see what the hell the other guys want to do with uh, Leah. I think I'm not supposed to go exactly here. I need to, to take the elevator. Wait, where did she, did she tell me to go? On the deck. On the deck. I kinda wanna explore. Just for oops and laughs. Hi! Oh, you're back! I didn't expect you to see you again on this ship, to be honest. Anyway, how has how was Crossroads so far? Was it fun? Seems like you have mixed feelings about it. Not. Oh, hey, Leah. Did you have a look around the ship already? I guess she doesn't want to have a look around the ship. I like how they're walking in place. They're the only persons. They're the only NPCs walk in place, I guess. Potentially, I don't know. What about here? Is there anything useful here? No, I guess not. I don't need to be going around here right now. Gosh, that's a lot of ways to go. Let's, let's not go there. Just to waste my time. Or your time. Everyone's time. That's the thing we're supposed to do. Hi. Thanks for coming, Miss Ava. I mean, Leah. Hello, so the pseudo -rob robot has actually returned. Please, stop calling her that. She's an actual person with a name. Not Leah. Alright then, Leah. My colleague and I had a discussion over how, how well instant matter-based avatars can handle water. To my knowledge, instant matter easily evaporates when in contact with water. That's why swimming was never an option with the technology. He claims I can actually withstand decent amounts of water. Right. Leah was totally fine when it started raining last time she was here. I saw it myself. Well, a bit of rain, maybe. Let's see how she land handles slightly larger amounts of water. How? Quite simple. <coughs> Please stand at this point here for a moment. Why? No worries, you'll see. <coughs> Alright, we're ready. I knew it. <coughs> Sorry, they talked me into it. Why? Sorry, Leah. But did you see? She did not evaporate. <laughs> I have to admit, I didn't expect this. That was just a small bucket. Now let's try the larger one. <laughs> Please, just one more time. Do it for the science. Alright, second bucket. Oh. See, it couldn't handle that amount. Alright, I see. But you know, it could just be a general safety measure in case avatars actually jump into water. Maybe they can potentially take even more water than that. Than they be, but we can test them this now, can we? That's true. Anyway, my point stands that instant matter avatars are just way too fragile for most serious applications. Come on, no, not all applications require high water resistance. If it were just that, did you ever dare to try to lift her? What? I'd never dare to do that. I sort of expected that. That's why I invited someone to help us out. Hey, Isabel, could you come over here for a second? Hello. Oh, she's adorable. Hi. Oh, who's that? Leah. Hi, Leah. I like your horns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's another guest on the ship currently. So why would you have her involved? To show you how ridiculously light instant matter is. Isabel, would you be so kind as and lift the young lady for us? <gasps> can I do that? Of course you can. Show us how strong you are. Okay. Hi. Whoa. Leah is so light. Wait. Oh boy, I wasn't aware of that. An avatar should weigh an average of maybe 5 to 10 kilograms at most. Instant matter is extremely light and fragile. It's a trade-off for being quickly constructed. Hi, Leah! Oh, hi, Leah! Wait, bye, why? Leah is getting heavy now. It's okay, you can put her down now. I want to throw her. Why? Sure, so, show us some muscle. 
And go! <coughs> awesome! How? Again! Wait! <laughs> so you see, super light, low water resistance, and believe me, any kind of real impact, and it breaks down. Alright, I see what you mean. Still, instant matter does have its applications outside of games, doesn't it? Wait! Why? Of course it has its applications. But it will never replace good hard machinery and architecture. You can't build a house with instant matter and expect to live, live in it. It will break down easy, easily. Haha, <laughs> again! Wait! It works for Crossroads because everything running around, around the playground is based on instant matter or virtu virtual. It's like a theme park made out of styrofoam. I see. Ah, I'm beat. Hey, Leah, you run real fast. <coughs> oh, so either Leah's player is in quite good shape or avatars are not bound to the player's stamina. It's the latter. You can run for as long as you want and you won't get tired. Anyway, thanks a lot for everything, Leah. I'm sorry for all the water and throwing. Ah, please don't hate me. I just wanted to show him how awesome avatars are. Nice work then, you really showed him. Ugh, was it really that bad for you? Shakes head. Oh, I'm relieved. It was fun, I want to throw Leah again. Come on, give her a little rest, okay? Oh man, okay, see you later. I wonder if she's Carla's daughter. Hey Leah, I see you having fun with the crew. I will soon start preparing things to get you back into the playground. It would take a bit of time though. It's probably a good idea to log you off in the meantime. Before that though, there is something we should talk about. Since you know the truth about yourself, you're probably feeling a great deal of uncertainty, correct? In particular about your future. I do not want to give you any false hope. The current situation is problematic. The only place for avatars to exist is within Crossroads without official permission. And this will only last as long as you can keep it secret from instantainment. This is something we have to change, Leah. This is our goal, to create a proper place for Evotars. One where you do not have to hide your identity. Aw, Satoshi, he always envisioned a place like that, even back then. Finding him is just the first step towards our goal. With his help, we might find a way to get there. Well then, should we call it a day? Nods. Good night, Leah. Bye. Gotham, why did this happen? She had assistance. Somebody interfered, hacked the environment server. That was bound to happen. The odds were still highly stacked against them. This is like the cargo ship all over again. Gotham, you need to stop playing around. Understood. For now, continue with the interrogation. We're, be we're behind schedule. Oh no, who are they interrogating? There you go. Nightmares of my flat. It was just bound to happen. <laughs> Come on, let's run away. Run away from the pizza. Oh no, Leah. Leah. Please, run away. There is no point waiting for me. She could have a good dream for once. Chapter 7 complete. Initializing avatar. Good morning, Leah. Hi, I hope you rested well. Any new memories? Shakes head. I see. Well then, preparations to go back to the official playground are all finished. We still have to leave. We, we will have to leave using the teleporter down in the cargo hold. Remember the one where we started? Nods. Carla should be waiting there for you. Also, I did a few more preparations on my side. How? Well, I moved locations again. Why? Just making sure nobody will be able to locate locate me. Locate me. I did the same after you completed the Fajro Temple. This is why I had to stay offline for a while longer, remember? Anyway, things should be less critical since we are outside of out of Vermilion Wasteland. Then again, they most likely still have ways to track you track us in the official playground. Otherwise they could not have dragged us out of the raid like that. I still wonder how exactly they managed to do that. And maybe they can read the traces we leave on the great game servers. Or maybe it's something very simple, like somebody watching us in-game. Well, it is all speculation at this point, but you should be careful and watch your surroundings, okay? Anyway, onwards to the teleporter. Chapter 7, Isolation. Let's look at uh, avatars. Um, yeah, because this is probably... Decides not to be part of... Holy crap, this is very long. 
I just noticed. Crap! It's this fast that okay, he can re log out, respond, and musing about the ben benefits of responding. Lost memories, not in a coma. Leah awakened from a dream. Co quest Hub, Shizuka. You guys got all that? That's that's no, oh, it's important. It's gonna be on the test. The low weight bodies of avatars are streaming the light. This is because avatars are basically just shells controlled by remote players. Simulating touch and mass makes it possible for players to still feel the weight of attacks or motions in general. The low weight means that even a child can lift avatars. Yep. How many chapters? Ten? Three left, left I, said, I guess. Uh, there's probably nothing else interesting here, right? Are there people I can talk to? Where's this guy? Hi! Are you back again? That's a surprise. Last time I wasn't even aware that you were one of those avatars from the game. In fact, to me, you just looked like one of those fancy youngsters with colorful hair and tacky clothes. Oh, and the horns. Are the horns in these days? No. I see. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your, you enjoy your stay. I guess it's the thing. Cleaning duty again. That's like five times in a row now. See, I warned you. Now you're the cleaning maniac of the ship. People keep loading loading off cleaning duty onto you as long as you're keep, keep being so quick and thorough about it. Not exactly complaining, you know? I like this kind of work, and the ship has been in a much better condition since I took over. Alright, whatever floats your boat, dude. Oh, this boat probably doesn't flo float because of my cleaning, but it certainly looks better. Dude. Dude, come on, dude. You know he was joking. Or, I hope you know, because that's silly. You should be aware of how silly you are being. Oh, there's nobody here. Damn! Here, bot. This one has eyes, but it's not functional, I guess. Or talkable? Let's go see the cabin again. I still can't do anything here, can I? Intero? Wait, what? Intero? That looks like rice balls. What's, a, what's an intero? Intero? I guess it could be intero. That sounds similar to intero, in, intero or full. I guess. Or integer. I suppose. Is that in, 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 integer? In, in, integer? I actually have no idea how to. I don't think I know how to say the word exactly. Everything's prepared, so you're ready to leave. So you're ready to- WHAT?! What a weird sentence! Everything is prepared so you're ready to leave. WHAT?! One moment, let me add a little shortcut for you. I'll think. This will take you right to the teleporter where Carly is waiting. How? Oh. Yes, it should have helped back when we had to run through the whole cargo run hold, correct? Unfortunately, I did not have to the routine to spawn those shortcuts ready back then. Fair enough, I guess. Landmark? Surprise! I managed to add a proper landmark to, on the cargo ship. Means from now on you can add travel back to the ca cargo hold whenever you like. <laughs> but better not to try drag along. Better to not try to drag along other party members. You are the only player that can enter this place. Hey there, girl. You look pretty well rested. I suppose Sergey talk, talk things through with you. About time, really. So just so you know, you have all our support. If you ever need a break from that busy playground, feel free to drop, drop by. Well then, let's get you back among all those other players. Please stand in the middle of the teleporter. Everything ready. G good luck over there. Good luck over there, girl. Why is this instance of girl not capitalized? God damn it. Oh yeah, this place. Here we are. You should not be able to travel to all landmarks within the playground again. Also, direct links should work again. It's probably a good idea to say hello to your friends again. We have been missing for quite some time. There they are. Hi! Bonjour. So, suddenly you're back? Has been what, a week? Oh yeah, 
Uh, yes, last four words, are, as always. Meet me at the guild headquarters. I want to talk to you in person. Oh, she seemed angry? Why? Wow, you disappeared in the middle of a raid, remember? It is probably a good idea to talk to her soon. chest or silver chest I wonder how not oh, damn it okay how do I get to there how do I get to there around but I kind of don't want to yeah maybe I can go back there at some point it's blocked right now though mm, whatever hi hello so, what happened? All I know is that you just left in the middle of the raid. We had to cancel the whole thing and we had such a good run. Then you've been missing for a whole week. Well, sort of. You still have been listed as online, I just couldn't contact you. Why? That's what I want to know. Someone told, you, Matt, no, told me you might have blocked us from contacting you. Shakes head. Then what was it? Please, you have to tell me. How? I don't know. Just somehow. There are so many things I don't know about you, and I can't even properly ask you. It's so frustrating. Uh, I guess now all that's left then is asking lots of questions. Why did you drop out of the raid? Was it a bug? Shakes head. Then what? Did you cancel the raid on purpose? Shakes head. Then what else is there? Lucas. Hello? Leah, you're back? Yeah, she just showed up today. Currently trying to find out what exactly happened. Well, that would be hard to figure out with her speech limitation. I know, I'll just p poke her with questions until I get a good picture. That sounds troublesome. Leah, where are you going? Uh, Leah? What? Is everything alright? What are you doing? Just what exactly happened to you after you left the raid? Question mark? Why? Saka Blue! What is wrong with you? Why? How? What was that? It came out of nowhere. I don't believe this. Has she gone crazy or something? Uh, I, I suppose she has. That is a very weird situation. Leah? That Lucas, he does not remember what happened, correct? Why? I kind of suspected as much. Sorry, I should have talked with you about it. That Lucas you met in Vermilion Wasteland, it was most likely another Evotar. In fact, I suspect that was the case for all the players we saw back there. Do you not want to go back to them? Shakes head. I see. The situation is rather complicated, but I'm sure they mean they still mean well with you. Maybe give it a bit of time. I'm sure we'll be able to reconcile eventually. I suppose we should go to Gaia's Garden next. That's the next major area, north of Autumn's Fall. Our goal is still, re still to reach Sapphire Ridge, correct? I really should try to extend your vocabulary at least, at least a bit more. It will be difficult, but I know a few words that might help you in situations like this. I'll get on the, I will get on that while you make your way to Gra Gaia's Garden, alright? Avatar of Leah Lucas Fink. He's trapped inside Vermilion, just like Leah. Vermilion's wasteland. Sand cir circumstantial problem? No, communication problem. I must have misread that. The exception of this circumstantial problem? I'm sorry, what? 
What the hell is circumstantial, circumstantial problems supposed to mean? Seriously, what? <laughs> what? Oh, I can't one shot it. I can one shot these. Fair enough. Whatever. I don't even get. I don't even do. I get get XP. I can't go back there, can I? Or it doesn't help. It's not gonna be anyone there. Oh, she doesn't want to go back. Okay. I'm assuming I can't invite them either. Now is not a good time. Yep. She kind of wants to be alone. Um. Uh, all right. Let's go over there then. I have a bunch of stuff there to do and collect. And also, I have to learn the place. <sighs> well, here we are, Gaia's Garden. A lot of new enemy types here. Funny enough, though, no bugs. You see, Emily will probably be fine by herself. Sorry, I should not have said that. That's not a very nice thing to say. Finally, I have proper trees in this game. Didn't we have trees in the other areas as well? You mean those oversized bushes? Barely trees, really. What does it matter anyway? You can't even climb. Did you notice too how during the quest they refer to the hologra hologram probit as a rodent? Hmm, no, not really. Rabbits are not rodents, they're lagomorphs. Well, technically a probit is half frog and half rabbit, so... Are you implying a frog is a rodent? Shall we go then? The jungle is waiting. I don't know, I don't really feel like it. Is everything okay? Not sure, maybe we just played for a bit too long. I hope that's it. Guy, it's not as worth. What's this? Welcome to the jungle. We got cats and plants. We got everything you want, Seeker. We know the names. I think that's a reference, I believe. Twitching Slicer. Vermilion Mantle. That's the thing I have to this is, this is pretty good. Kinda like it. Blue-haired Spheromancer. We finally meet again. Leah. Right. Spheromancer Leah, I see you finally reach Gaia's Garden. That means you both now possess the cold and heat element. In other words, it is due time. Spheromancer Leah, I challenge you to our third duel. Do you accept? Nods. Do you, um, I mean... Perfect! I'll be waiting at the old open field over there. That guy again. Do not tell me he has been a stakeout here all this time. She clearly is not in the mood. Field, they even support the perception of humid weather. Just turn it down. Nope, I'm fine. Just give me a little time to get used to it. Madam, gotta have her immersion. Important. Don't forget about a duel. I guess I can't. I guess I can't do anything other than fight him. I don't know why, but I feel like saving. I see you are prepared. Are you ready for the duel? No. Not. All right then. Let's go. Hey. Oh, I see. Having your business with your girl again? Yor Yorn, you just arrived in time for some glorious Spheromancer action. We're about to start our third duel. Well, whoop de doo Didn't want to start exploring Gaia's garden today? Yes, right after the duel. It won't take that long. Fine, I'll be shearing from the side then. By the way, Leah, all by yourself today? Nod, I see. Well then, let's start. PvP activate. Today we cross paths for a third time, both of us possessing heat and cold. Once again, it is time for me, Apollo, to lead you along the right path. The path of a proper Spheromancer, the path of justice. Let the duel begin. Oh, only oh, mobile. Ah, ah, ah! Shit, that was a ton of damage. Well, that's all cool down again. Ow, ow! Jeez. Ah. Let's 
try something else. Ah! Did a perfect block. Things are getting serious now. yet. Wow. That thing is strong as hell. What the hell? The dash art, I mean. This time I was defeated. Spheromancer, Leah, you've grown immensely. It was a good duo indeed. Yeah, I've defeated you all the times. What the hell? Shut up. Bye. Hey, Leah, is everything alright with you? You're all by yourself. Honestly, you don't look that happy to me. Hmm. She really doesn't talk much, does she? Yeah, she's fairly shy. Is she now? Leah, can you say Apollo for me? You can't say it, can you? Shakes head. What? Do you have issues with your speech module? Nods. All the time? Nods. How is that even still a thing these days? Poor little thing. Oh, here's an idea, Leah. Since you're by yourself, you want to explore the jungle together with us? What? Why? What are you saying, Jorn? Polly, just look at her. She seems so miserable being alone like this. Don't you feel sorry for her? Well, kinda. I don't mind her joining us if you're fine with it, Jorn. Jorn. Well then, what do you say, Leah? Shall we travel together? Nods. Good, let's create a party then. Jorn join your party. Apollo join your party. What is even happening? Shouldn't you be happy? You have a party with shoes for romancers now. Right, now that you mention it, choose few Mansers and Quadro Guard. Quite the noble party indeed. There you go. So, what's next? Let's see. The noble band just entered the realm of Gaia's Garden. Indeed, what else is there to do than seek the human settlement hidden within the, this wilderness? Baz and Keep. The towering fortress of the jungle. This shall be our destination. I see. Let's go, Leah. Yeah, I have to admit, that's actually a pretty cool, uh... Uh... Chris Kajo. Whatever. That's actually a pretty cool turn of events. And did not expect that actually. I can see why it is like that, but I am surprised. Regardless. There's a bunch of them. Oh. Sweep the fire. Here's some Argibai enters the battlefield. Carefully, and instantly switch locations. This poly, this is what happens when you forget to water your plants. They jump out of their pot, float their float and water bubbles and bite you. Exactly, don't forget to water the plants. Is that an Arara or a, ma a macaw? Is that guy attacking with a door? What is this macaw we do? Papa gun? It's, 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 it's using the, I think it's the Portuguese papagaio, or I guess that could also be in other languages, but still, what the hell? The unlawful papagun aims at, aims at you, are agile and heavily armed. So you have parrots in the general, neat. Indeed, gun-wielding parrots, so they're up to no good. I like how in character he is. Also, I, I really like the idea of calling him Polly. <laughs> that sounds cute. Although, I'm not sure if I like him just yet enough. But he's, he's coming around, I guess. Did I go anywhere that makes sense? Hey, I did. Salted peanuts. Alright, let's try the other way, so I can try to get the chest over there. Uh, 
realize I didn't mention what card, video card I got earlier. I got a uh, an RTX 2060. So if you see anyone tracing some rays, it's me. I did it. I need to figure out. I need to hit that thing first before I can come here. I guess. Ah. sure how to reach it, but well, let's try to figure it out. Oh. Well, it worked. Um. Maybe I can just jump up from here. There it is. It stays up. Huh. God damn it. Okay. Okay, that was long enough. Ooh, chat sandwiches. Is that the one that recovers 50? Ah, it's the low one. that excited about those low items. So, a city in the middle of the jungle? Yes, and a giant of a city at that. In the jungle? Indeed, human ingenuity shaped this hot, pots, hot spot of civilization amid this hostile environment. Can't wait to see it. Oh. Oh, nice. Are they shooting watermelons at me? Remember, Polly, what are the plants? I get it, I just forgot it like that one time. One time about every month. How? Is that a zappy cat show cat? Okay. I know, right? Oh, I'm nearly dead now. Because my health bar went down when I. Hey, I'm gonna level up! Na, 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 na. Do we really have to fight the poor kittens? I feel so sorry for them. Jorn, don't be swayed by their cute appearance. They're fierce opponents. But they just wanted to have them cuddles. I wonder if she'll turn up again. It's you! Turn up for what? At this point, someone might think you're stalking me. It has been a while, and as usual, you came at the right moment. Another player has just placed a probe somewhere in the jungle, even though I had some problems earlier. Don't worry about it, it was just a misunderstanding. It just means I don't have much time left, so would you be willing to help me survey this area too? Yeah, that's a, a lot of XP. I guess it's a level 46 quest, which is a bit higher than I am. Six waypoints? Thank you, this is, will be the last time, I promise. I don't have any probes left, but I guess you know what they look like by now. Sure. So like six, six waypoints? Six waypoints! Mario! Six waypoints! I don't know what I'm doing. Slime? Galleric. Galleric, I guess. You're sharing blows to the Galleric. Beware of the their team attacks. I was waiting for these kinds of enemies to show up. You can't have an RPG with good old blobs. I suppose. I think you can. Uh, let me mark this chest up. Got there. Six, 66 chests? What the hell? 66? Damn! 6 waypoints, 66 chests! Like, holy crap, that is a lot! I had 10 here, 29 here, 25, 20, 36 at Maroon Valley, that's a lot! But 66 freaking chests! What the hell? I don't know what my voice is. My voice is good. I guess I'm just emoting a bit too much. I guess I'll, I'll chill out. 
No, I wanna go where it rains. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna control the weather by not going where it rains. You see, the weather, <laughs> the rain started as soon as I moved up, and then it stopped as soon as I moved down. Now we're controlling the weather. Let's go. Can he shock at attack? Careful, close contact quickly leads to shocking the mice. Cats, Polly. All oh, right. <laughs> Lots of dead trees here. Wood cutters at work. I believe those trees merely died of old, merely died of old age. Humankind quickly learned that lumbering is far for us would lead to fierce counter reactions of the track. Scary. I'm guessing now is not a good time. Yeah. Can I contact them? Hi, hey Leah. No need to call me when I'm right next to you, right? Let's talk, let's talk like normal people. Hold it! Why would you use a D-Link when you are in your party, like standing next to each other? Objection? Question mark? Oh, he's wearing all silver stuff. Right. Damn, I'm level 41. I thought it was a bit lower than that. Oh well. Drag you over them. They kind of act as a little black hole sort of thing. Ow. The three edges. Is that what it is? Looks like he handled things without me just fine. Okay. I guess he died. I didn't no even notice. Oh, shot uh, wave attacks. Fair enough. Oh no, it's raining again. Yes, rain is all too common for this climate. Ah. Uh -huh. I bet I'm losing a friend. What? Never mind. Question mark? Oh. He died again, huh? I guess his class is mostly melee and around those cats. Around those cats being melee is a problem. I, I suppose, I don't know. Hey, alright. Boardwalks. Can't go wrong with those in the jungle. I mean, I've never been in the jungle, but you know, I can't imagine that having a place to walk. What the hell? You can't make it across that. Well, what the hell? I wonder what that place is. All about? Because I can't go there. Right now. Right now it is off off to the limits. Oh, what's this? Oh. Okay. Don't they resist? Don't they resist fire? No, they I think they only resist uh shock. They're weak to fire, ice and Wave. Which I guess is handy. Oh. Did I? Oh. Okay. 
Uh, do I have sir? How many? Oh, I have three points. Two here. Um, let's see what I can get. Resistance, meh. Spread. Resistance against chill. Really meh about that. Hard art. Eh. Really art. Yo, that sounds neat. Neat. I want that. Let me get this as well. I guess I should have gone to this, but whatever, I can do that, do that some other time. Uh, I don't think I can get anything useful with 3 points, right? I need 4. I guess I could get this stuff. The defense buff or the resist? I think I want the defense. I guess I'll wait, wait on that. Um, let's see. I really should go there, go to that side of the tree at some point. Let's go get this. I think that's all the points I want to waste. We need one more level and have enough points for that. Can't dodge me, but good. How many static fur balls do I have? Ow. More parrots. I think I'll call them Polly. What? Why? Polly's a common name for parrots, don't you know Polly? I'm not a parrot, Jorn. I don't know how to pronounce his name, I'm assuming that's not correct. I don't know where they are from. That might would help. If they were a Scandinavian, I would probably risk calling him Jorn or something like that. But I don't know. <gasps> Mushrooms! Hey, alright. Within the infested jungle, a mysterious disease has befallen this part of the forest. This guy is Murph. I want to bet he's as Murph. As Murph. As Murph. I'm kinda surprised I made that jump. What the hell is that? A bear? Bear he's lost. I don't have the yellow man, it's weak too. Mighty Behizloff approaches as deadly, holy but deadly. Oh, holy crap! why they can't just relax for some time. I 
I should have enough static fireballs to buy that one thing, that one weapon. Ow, ow, ow. There were a lot, those were a lot of enemies at once. They weren't, shut up. Infested marshes. Ow. Uh, let me go over there then. Get the weapon. Jeez, that's a lot of walking I've done, I guess. Uh, don't I have Jew? I thought I had a lot of those. Of those. Gosh darn it! Really? I, th I only have Jew. I thought I had a lot of them. Maybe. Let me get. Let me. Let me check something here real quick. No, it doesn't request me to get uh, static furballs. God damn it! Where did where did they go then? I thought I had a bunch of them. Ow. Well, it fell in the water, but I was good. Jeez, that's a lot of. Giant mushrooms in, the, in this area. Do you think those are edible? It's safer to assume they're not. Damn! Nice! That was electable. That was delightful. Oh, you should stop using this for now. What's this? Infested marshes. I knew, I knew that. Probably attacked a lot, threw a lot of balls. That landed melee attacks. Ten thousand. Gotten barely anything here in the way of chests and uh, progress. That's an oddly shaped mushroom. Not. I guess I can do that with the mouse wheel. I should have guessed, but. Bug off! More appropriately for these enemies, buzz off! Buzz off, I say. Oh, I actually don't. I need the first balls. 
Craig Link. Hey, howdy, girl. Ah, see, you got the 50% mark. Nice work. I've prepared a little something for you. Come back to find me at the Baki Kun Quest Hub. Meet a lot of lips at Baki Kun Quest Hub. I don't have any idea where I can go now, so I might as well uh, hit that up real quick. Come on. Come on. Howdy, howdy, girl. I found your way to spice up that hat I gave you. You ready for an upgrade? Here you go. Dried grass hat. Bigger and better, just like that. I see you in the fields. Till next time. Bye. It's an upgraded version of the straw hat. It's bigger and better. Okay. Uh, can I trade for that thing yet? Can I, can I please, can I trade for it, for it please? Damn it! You need one more. hidden between the grass and plants. They blend in pretty well. Not unlike a certain somebody I know. I see you're up for a challenge today. of the trayers here, Master Leah. Seriously, just call me Leah. Why are you calling me that? Polly keeps fighting them Polly's. Not this again. Okay, I have 19 health. Let's take a break. Man, this place really is gigantic. Holy crap. I don't even know what those green... Real, really things are. Would you look at the size of that trunk? As expected of a jungle, the trees can grow to an astonishing size. Yes. Yes, yes, well, right, quite. Yes, quite. Oh. I still haven't gotten a grasp on the... Uh, and there were no no cats in this direction. Huh? None of the 
shock, shock, shock cats. Shock cats. I like how uh, Jorn fights straight up like, uh, oh, nice, I see up for a challenge thing. I like how he fights by straight up tossing doors and tables at enemies, flat surfaces in general I guess and furniture, flat furniture I suppose. There it is. There you are. Ah, oh, drop the, the fur ball. Drop the fur ball. Cats, I want to get that thing before I go. Lel. Oh, the one is on. Okay, never mind. make me turn into more of a melee attacker than a ranged so still though it looks like a good upgrade to the hunter's bolt to change slicer also increases my defense so can't complain too much uh, anyway that's all I have time for I guess so thanks for watching thanks for seeing this has been sauce and I'll see you next time on crosscode bye